Hi everybody, welcome to 729-731 Manawaganish Road in West St. John, New Brunswick. Really lovely, older century home, I would say. You might as well call it that. I think it's 98 years old. Um, so it's 2,400 square feet above grade. And it does have an in-law suite downstairs. I'm gonna actually show you that here as well. Uh, but Manawaganish Road, got a uh, elementary school. St. Rose right across the street and then there's a uh, Barn Hill as well uh, very wonderful street really good part of town a lot of people who are West St. Johners they'd never want to live anywhere else so it's a very well regarded area and uh, lots of off-street parking here also and uh, nicely partially fenced backyard that area right up there is, is the uh, kitchen dining room area for the uh, uh, for the upper unit there's your uh, door into your granny suite i'll show you that here in a second but good size yard nice views of the city at night and even during the daylight as well it's uh, you know definitely a good size yard you're gonna need a not a ride on lawn mower but definitely you would need a mower here and character details in every part of the house um no water issues in the basement Got a walkout door right there, which I'll show you. Um, but then also there's this other walkout door as well. Nice deck area. Um, steps off of the dining room area, which is just up there. That's all those glass, uh, you know, glass. Kind of a, a nice open concept kitchen. Um, probably about a five minute drive up down St. John. A lot of people wouldn't really find any reasons to leave West St. John, no matter what. Pretty well everything that you might need is right here, but... So this is technically, legally, an apartment. Uh, you can also... Uh, it's, you know, perfect setup for in-law suite because there is interior access if needed. So this would be your uh, living room area. Here, I'm just going to snap on a light. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. So non-functioning fireplace, just decorative. There's electrical in it there if you wanted to put some sort of an electrical um, fake fireplace, if you will. But you got a kitchen here. Lots of character in this. Good ceiling heights, too. Here's your tub. Place is spotless. Very well-maintained home. There's your kitchen. So if yeah, you know, if your mom and dad need kind of one level living, step straight off of the uh, driveway, then you could easily have that here, and everybody's under the same roof, which is a nice feature. So here is uh, the bedroom. So it's one bedroom. They've just got it set up as a home and home office and a rec room area, but. Again, it's a uh, really good size. Easily fit a king size bed in here, plus a bunch of uh, bedroom furniture if you wanted. There's your window right there for egress. Got some storage here. Some more storage. Stepping down. Um, this would have shared laundry facilities. However, if you wished, you could certainly section this off so that the tenant would have access to laundry and you could set it up with another laundry if you wished on the main level or otherwise. There's your laundry room area. This is probably the least photogenic part of the house to be fair. Natural gas furnace right back there. That would take you upstairs. So I'm going to walk in through the front door, but I will make note of the fact, a couple things. There's that other entrance that I had referred to here earlier. So this walks you right into ooh, the backyard as well. Uh, but there's also... I would call them like the butler stairs. I'll show you those here when we're upstairs. So there's your access to that upper level. If you want to come down, check on the kids or mom and dad, you're going to be able to do that. No problem. 
but we'll take you back out. I'm get my thumb in the way of the video here. Sorry about that, folks. There we go. Okay, so. Let's walk you up here. Uh, primarily vinyl sided. Might be a little bit of wood siding, but for the most part, house is vinyl sided. Lots of character details, like windows like that right there in the home. Okay. So nice sun porch, great area, set down groceries, hockey gear. You step into this part here, character details. Like somebody asked me, did it used to be a three unit? Uh, I think that that probably was just what was available at the time for a mailbox. There we go. There. Okay, so here we are in the lobby area or foyer. Um, I mean, if you're into those types of character details, there's definitely cut lead glass, stained glass in the home itself. Beautiful staircases, hardwood floors here on this level. I want to take you kind of left to right. Uh, that is your kitchen. Historically, this has probably been used as a dining room. Uh, again, lots of really great character details as far as the woodwork and trim work. Non-functioning fireplace right there, so it's just decorative. Uh, you could easily just use this as a... Uh, a second living room if you wanted. Um, there's probably been times in the past when this room here that I'm just taking video of that this was actually used as a main level bedroom. Presently set up though, complete with a little kitty cat as a living room. Um, you know, again, little little character details, like a pass-through for your uh, butler to hand food through into the other room. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that open, but there's uh, some more little character touches. That goes downstairs. That's where I just shown you here. So you've got a full bathroom on this level. Again, spotless. Uh, this here... They're using this area, this section, as a home office. Big closet. There's that deck area that I had referred to earlier. And really great views. Pony panel. Um, you know, another little, you know, character details here as far as just storage, right? And then tiny little door, just staircase, uh, a little storage area underneath your staircase, but brass door handles, all lit up there. All solid wood doors, very, very nice. And then kind of looking back into your foyer area. Uh, you know what? N another little character detail, you, you probably have to see it in person as well, but rounded walls you know just uh, beautiful features very very nice um so here is your kitchen dining room area sometimes you get into these older homes too and the floors are really wonky they're they're uh, not level um, I would give this house a 9.5 out of 10 on structure. It's, um, for its age, it's absolutely amazing. Really good structure. So there's your backyard. 
not staring right at your neighbors either, which is nice. And this deck area. So there's that side deck area right off of your kitchen. If you want to come out here, hang out, barbecues, all that good stuff. Easy access into your backyard. Kids can play there. Pets, just finish a little bit more fencing. You'd be all fenced in if you wish. And so originally this, this was set up with the dryer and there's a set tub right here. But it's just great if you're outdoors and you're doing some gardening, whatever you wanna come in, wash your hands, get cleaned up. You've got that feature right there. And kitchen wise. Newer cabinetry, absolutely. But uh, nice big pot and pan drawers. Pretty decent amount of counter space for sure. And great views. So now I'm going to take you upstairs. We've already seen the downstairs. Kind of came in through the regular front door. Um, but I'll take you upstairs and have a look. So, you know, a lot of this is like a really heavy wood that's that's original to the house. I'm quite confident of that. Uh, again, hardwood stair treads, excellent shape. So we've got three bedrooms up here, but I'll give you some other details and bits of the tour. Uh, one of the other really great features about this house is you know, you got these little areas where you can sit down on the window ledges, nice curtains. This is a good size room. You can fit a, a queen size bed in this room, no problem whatsoever. Um, I don't think there's any old doors in this house, especially on the main and the upper levels. They're all the originals. Um, I love this room here. This room here was unfinished when they bought it. But they came in and they had it finished. It's got new hardwood flooring in it. Kind of got it set up as a guest bedroom. Little closet right there. Like that door right there is only three feet high. But purpose built. Same thing here. Three and a half feet, maybe. Love this room. Tons of character. Grandkids would love it. Even, even your kids, like it's great play area. Definitely guests can, you know, um, can make full use of that as well. So we've got a half bath here. And then we've got a full bathroom, uh, stand up shower, tub with a shower head on it, vanity. Then a door. This would be considered the primary bedroom right here. That's king size bed. This is a really large bedroom. It's got some built-ins and mirrored closets on both sides. It's kind of facing the street, so I know that there's probably some traffic here. Really, for the most part, there's no there's no road noise in within this home. It very solidly constructed for sure. So again, another closet right there behind the door. And finally, third bedroom right here. Some great views in this one. Um, put things in perspective, way, way, way over there. Probably can't see it. That's Martello Tower. Um, but you know, there's different, uh, different features here. Um, nature park is nearby the ocean. You can see it if you have a set of binoculars, but, uh, Saints Rest, Saints Rest Beach is there. Uptown St. John, anything that West St. John shopping and everything else is right there in the Valley. So there is bedroom number three. And I'm going to take you down through the back stairs. Just simply, again, it's like one of those character details of the house. Again, these these doors, which, I mean, 
again, that, that's original, right? Purpose built. These windows that are turned a little bit sideways as well on purpose would have been the style of the day. And this would have been access for your hired help, possibly. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, zoned for two family. In family, though, you could have that. The kids, parents, friends, family that want to come and visit. And um, really, for the most part, move in condition. If you have any questions... Just shoot me a text or a phone call, 506-608-4866. Or you can always send me an email, homes at trustpeter.com. Thank you again for your interest and hope you have a wonderful day.